What is going on you Olympians? It is your boy Greek Gamer or Nicholas here coming at you guys with a highly request level up guide in Black Ops 3. Now I'm going to be showing you guys some good classes to use as well as the best game modes and I'm going to show some gameplay at the end to explain everything a little bit more. Now as for SMGs, I prefer the VMP. You guys could go with either the Vesper or the Razorback, the Cuda. I just feel like the three most consistent are the VMP, the Vesper, and the Razorback to me. For attachments, I like Quick Draw and Grip. That's like usually what I use. I, if you want to write a reticle on, just take the tactical off of all the classes that you see me make the example of. As you can see, I don't run a secondary. I might as well mention that now, except for on the Locust class, just because I don't really like using secondaries when I have a primary. It just doesn't make any much sense to me. Now, as for lethals, I'm going to go with Thermite, just because you can lock down areas so well with this lethal, especially in game modes like Domination and Safeguard, which I'm going to be getting into later is a crutch scenario that you can use those in all the time. As for tacticals, like I said, it's your choice. Any tactical will do. I just go with concussion since I don't run an optic. As for my perk one, as you can see here, I run six cents and overclock on my SMG class just because it supports my gameplay. Six cents, you know, rusher's dream perk. Overclock, recharge specialist ability faster. Doesn't get much better than that. Now, as for perk two, I always go with any up just because there's no real crutch perks uh, in the perk two slot. I don't really use fast hands, so any up, you know, get my kill streaks faster. Why not? Perk 3, there's a lot of crutch perks in, in the tier 3 slot. I personally like Tactical Mask just because, you know, I'm not playing Search, I don't need Blast Suppressor. Now, as you can see here, the Assault Rifles, I'm not going to go into depth on Assault Rifles. All of them are honestly amazing in this game. Use whatever one you want. I've used all of them, like a decent bit. I am in love with every single Assault Rifle in this game. Definitely my favorite class of guns in this game, behind Snipers. Now... The game modes is where it's going to get important here. Now, if you guys want to play objective game modes, if you guys want to get respawn game modes and get a lot of kills fast, I recommend Domination, Demolition, and Safeguard for those OBJ players. Now, Search and Destroy is also a really good option since I recently buffed it to make it really good to level up again, just like it was in past Call of Duties. But, you know... Safeguard because of its amazing spawn trapping skills as well as demolition and if you have a team that knows what they're doing You can even do it in domination too now you get capture points and things like that And, and you can you know plant the bomb defuse the bomb and demolition and safeguard You know you bring the robot you disable it you transfer it all that kind of stuff just brings tons of XP I find myself getting large amounts of kills and XP in these games as they're usually the longest game modes as well now you know, there's many options for game modes for people who are like objective, but for you guys who also like to slay out, there's also some things for you. Chaos Mosh Pit. Now, I'm not going to touch too widely on this, but Chaos Mosh Pit is my favorite game mode to play right now besides Safeguard and Ground War, just because it includes Nuketown and all the other small maps. It just seems like an amazing game mode to play for kills. Now, here's some gameplay, me playing some Nuketown Safeguard. Now, you're going to see the score at the end of this is like 66 and 4. This is a good game I had. I got a nuclear, and this was also it on Saturday. Uh, Saturday the 9th, I believe, which was like two days after the game came out. So obviously, it's a really good gameplay. As you can see here, I'm playing a mix of the objective as well as, you know, everything else. Here, I'm using Batteries War Machine. You know, that's not really that big of a deal. Specialist, use whatever is your forte. Right now, I'm in love with Spectre just because I'm really big into rushing right now, and it's a lot of fun to just melee it up. Now, for kill streaks, I usually like running the Raps, the Talon, and, you know, some, some kind of Lightning Strike, Hellstorm, you know, maybe even a UAV, County UAV. And if you do want to run the Hater, run the Hater. But as you can see here, that was the end of the gameplay. I know I only showed you, like, a bit of a last half, but 66 and 4. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have time to show you all the XP that I get from this game, but that pretty much wraps up the level up guide. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to slap that like button and subscribe for more Black Ops 3 content and weapon reviews and etc. from me and my channel. I'll see you Olympians in the next video. Peace out, guys.